For my entire life, I've lived in a white house with brown shutters. It welcomes with cracks that stretch along the driveway, a reminder that this house has always been broken. If you look closely at our reflections in the kitchen tiles, you can see the tension of our smiles. That third empty bedroom has always haunted me. The still air resonates, suffocating every thought. The silence that fills the room eats away at the door. It's the only separation between us and the imminent shadows. At any moment, the ceiling could buckle. It wasn't meant to have the burden of hiding all of our secrets. Our parents have talked about replacing it so many times. I think there's a part of us that's afraid we'll forget you. Dear Raymond, I feel like you have been woven into me, stitched into intricate patterns of desperation by all those that loved you. Your presence in this household has become like all of our dead grandmother's quilts tucked away in every vacant space we have left. These existing memories have me trapped between concrete walls. I remember telling the entire kindergarten class that it was your fourth birthday. It was something I had overheard my mother whisper to my father, but I couldn't figure out why it was a secret. Why there was never a party each year, but instead a silent visit to where they told me you sleep now. There are stories that lurk in every corner and rest between the cracks of our lips. Every night I'd sit in that room and read my favorite stories aloud, explaining with pictures to the space around me. In those moments, the walls seemed to stand straighter. The cracks in the windows retracted backwards within themselves. It was those moments I swear that you were there too. There are so many remembrances absent of your actual body. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Everyone tells me I shouldn't be angry, but surrendering is like sealing your casket with the back of my hand. They don't understand what it's like to lose a luminary of their bloodline, someone they only knew through hospital photographs and other people saying goodbye. For so long, that room has become a part of me. Every hollowed floorboard and scratched surface has been sculpted around my body. Maybe that room is more than just a part of me, and all I've become is destruction, too. As I kneel by your gravestone, I force my hands into the ground, fingertips pushing into the earth, wishing there was some way to reach you. No longer will I dwell on empty rooms, because no matter how empty I feel, I know you'll always be with me. <laughs>